Hey everyone, it's Ruger. I'm here in my garage working on some side projects. Um, but I just want to make a video about why I think taking real estate classes is beneficial, regardless if you want to be a real estate broker or real estate salesperson. And kind of just tell you a little bit about my journey with the real estate classes and then my experience with the real estate as well. So here in front of us, we have a couple books. I have a property management book, uh, management book. I have Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which you know, I feel like we all know about it. And then some other uh, financial freedom, real estate investing book that someone gifted me. And what I want to talk about today is uh, real estate classes. So this here is from a community college class I am taking, or actually I finished a while back ago. Um, I still have the book. But originally when we started looking at houses, my wife and I, um, you know, we started talking about the idea of buying our first home and, and how that process would look. Uh, I decided to enroll in a community college class um, of real estate principles. And even though that class, you know, taught me some things and made the whole process a little bit less uh, chaotic and less scary, you know, I did have a real good um, real estate agent. Um, it did help me through that process. So when we're looking at escrow or kind of comparing homes and how did we get the price from this home and why is the the taxes looking at this and the appraisal coming in as this, uh, that real estate property or real estate principal uh, community college class really helped kind of demystify that process. As you guys know, I've been running uh, Camp Desert Dogs, a short term campsite rental um, here in LA County. And I had been doing it for a little while and that got me more interested in property management. And I said, well, let me sign up for, you know, I know the local community college offers a real estate property management class. So I took it and this here does talk about, you know, Amazon, Airbnb, Uber, Lyft, kind of those, um, those apps, how they have disrupted the, the markets and kind of changed up everything. Um, but even though currently I'm just doing the short term rental with the campsite, it's not a multi-unit location. You know, I don't offer like concierge and security and service and all these things to property management, maintaining that property. Uh, it's fairly simple, right? Just going out and cleaning and checking up on it. Um, this book has offered a lot more. It might be a little bit more specific towards California, um, a little bit more beneficial. Obviously, it's not up to date in the nuances of laws and how it changes per city or county. Um, but this has helped me become a better property manager of Camp Desert Dogs. Uh, that was, you know, again, another three unit community college class, which I took. Um, you know, and then currently, as I look more into investing in long term, um, properties, you know, becoming kind of more full time or kind of more, more to reduce off my daily job, I have signed up for another real estate class. This is um, real estate practice. This is more about the day in, day out, about listing properties, of buying them, purchasing, fixing them up, putting comparables, different things of that sort. But I'm currently in this class and, you know, I, you know, I, I always think about, you know, people say, well, you don't need to have a degree in, in certain things to, to actually do it, right? You don't need a business degree to run a business. You don't need uh, this degree to be that, right? Just go on and do it, especially with videos like YouTube and Google and stuff. And I'm sure you can find these two books, maybe all these four books uh, for free online. Um, the biggest thing I'm taking away from this is once I finish the real estate practice class here in California, I can sit for the Department of Real Estate uh, salesperson license. And I think that is the biggest thing where regardless if I read these books and I start doing what they recommend and start kind of cutting back or seeing the world differently, I still do not have a license or have met the requirements to sit for that license scene test. Right, in California, you need real estate principles, you need um, real estate practice, and then you need an elective. And that elective, you know, is property management for me. There's real estate finance, real estate appraising, different types of courses. You can do strictly all online courses. You can do them at community colleges, four year, adult schools, as long as you meet that basic criteria. Um, and I have done it throughout many years, right? It's been a couple years before the pandemic that my wife and I purchased our home. 
knocked out that one class and then I started to get into Camp Desert Dogs, was able to take this property management class and then now as I again uh, look into the future and say what type of um, investing or what type of uh, things do I want to do with real estate, I finally applied and currently taking the last uh, real estate practice course. And again, these books may teach you that. You may be able to go online and kind of figure out what to do and you can buy a house without taking real estate and, you know, you may have a better real estate agent. Um, but I've been learning a lot of things by actually doing, you know, that goes for uh, property management, that goes for buying my first home, looking, you know, remodeling, adding, pulling permits, doing all these things. Um, so, again, while you may not need take real estate classes definitely beneficial um, I definitely recommend again once I finish these three classes I do not have to sit for that test I do not need to be licensed I actually enjoy my current job it pays me really well um, good benefits um, but I do look at a future where I can kind of ease away from that position or again kind of make this side hustle of real estate my primary hustle but that is maybe one of the major reasons why I recommend that people do take real estate classes. Um, maybe do it like I did, right? Stagger them. If you're interested in property management, take the property management. If you're interested in buying your first home, take that real estate principles class. Um, and then, you know, as you get more into real estate, it would be finance or appraisal, other things. Take some of those courses, look up which ones you need. Um, but in the end, you will have met the requirements to be able to at least sit for that test, right? If you pass the test, and again, if you pursue a career in real estate, um, that is different, but that is all I have for today. Um, look into your local community college, adult school, other places to offer it. It's fairly cheap. Um, and regardless, I think you'll walk away with more info than, you know, some uh, quick YouTube or Google searches can do. Stay safe, everyone.